Would you like some sub sandwich with your ranch? <laughs> Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, so I was scrolling through the comments the other day and I caught wind of somebody saying, I think we're due in for a Subway video and I couldn't have agreed more. So we're back with a new way to Subway. Now, please don't get mad at me, but I've taken some liberties on the consumption mechanics of the traditional sub. Usually we have two six inch honking pieces which create weird pushing and juicing and slopping and angles and you can't really get to see it all and you just see the butt of the bread and the side and all these things. So I have gone ahead and made myself a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine piece <laughs> separated almost sushi sub and or grandmama church fingerling tea sandwich sub pieces okay we've divided it up for the perfect reason and why is that so that we could dip it in runny ranch of course it's a new way to subway so let's do it you guys know that uh i get the same sub pretty much all the fucking time and uh, that is of course the italian bmt on the herb and cheese with cheddar cheese. Basically all the veggies except for the olives and the spinach pretty much, and jalapenos. And uh, I get uh, sweet onion sauce and I get Southwest sauce and ranch. an extra ranch when I get it home. I wonder who's pissed that I bastardized and blasphemized <laughs> the sub. I think I'm on to something here. I'm on to sub thing here. It works. <laughs> it's just like, uh, it's utilitarian. Maybe not. I just ate it the wrong way. That's all. We're learning here. I'm not about to try new things. Although we don't try new subs, we don't stray from this sub. All right, I learned that that was not the way to bite it. Now we do in fact have to bite it against the bread. So that we're going down to the back of the bread. So that the guts don't push everywhere. personally love it. I'm a fan of the new way. So manageable, so dippable. That sweet onion sauce is something special. Let's try a butt piece. Would you like some sub sandwich with your ranch? <laughs> Y'all 
don't know why. Saucy guy. where it's at. All right, y'all. I got a little bit of neuroses. <laughs> Happened last night. Took a trip. 9.30 p.m. Half an hour before the uh, local pharmaceutical store closes down. Pharmaceutical and grocery. Okay. Not that big of a store. We can all pretty much, we're, we're, we're right around each other when we're in there, you know. And uh, <laughs> I'm in there. There's this other guy in there, and he's whistling Dixie the whole time. I don't mean like a couple little here and there's. And there's pauses and breaks and like low and quiet. I'm talking full blown show tunes, like full songs the whole time, loud. <laughs> and while it's just whistling, I know it's not that offensive. It's a pretty chill thing in a sense. At the same time, I was like, hey man, <laughs> zip it right i so badly wanted to tell him to zip it <laughs> and i don't know why i was just like bro do you not know that you're doing it you got a nervous tick where you whistle or you just putting on a show for the four of us, the cashier and the pharmacist. Like, do you, you know? Normal guy too. But I was like, do it on your own time, in your own house. <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> I get peeved by random things in life. But it's one of those things. It's like the, uh, it's less obnoxious, but it's like the, the public phone DJ, the guy who plays his music just out loud on his phone. in confined spaces such as the subway or the bus or the streetcar with public transit when I used to take that back in living in a major city we always had tra uh, <laughs> pub trans DJs but this guy was I don't know, the pharmaceutical Willie Nelson. Just 
those strutness pipes and buying cheese sticks and Tylenol. You know what I mean? So, anyway. <laughs> Trivial thing to care about. Was funny to me during the time. <laughs> Another thing I saw this morning, crazy, you should check it out. Only if you're prepared for like extreme violence and it's a pretty, a pretty crazy clip. There's a clip going around of this dude, this young guy, who owns this like little convenience like smoke shop kind of thing. And these two kids came in to rob him with masks on. And he uh, was like super chill and cool about it. Gave them the opportunity to just take some shit and leave. And the one guy kind of did, and he came back to grab something else. The other guy jumps over. At this point, the clerk, the store owner, maybe like early 20s, has like a butterfly knife in his hand from beside the register, flips it open, and just shanks this dude seven times. And it's like, it's not blurred out or anything. You don't see blood spill, but you see the event go down, you see the shanking, and then you hear like the robber guy. I won't say it out loud because like it ruins it a bit, but if you watch the clip, it's like an, it's a very intense clip. But I couldn't believe they showed it in its full, like without even having to click like I'm 18 or older. It didn't even warn me of anything graphic, really. And it shows a full on seven stab stabbing. That said, most everybody in the comments is applauding the store, the store owner, the stabber. Everybody's like, good for him. Dude deserved it. You know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes, essentially. was the unified feeling in the comments. And I would have to agree. After having watched the video, it's pretty savage, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't fuck around. And that won't happen to you. So, all right. I gotta be honest with you, as for like the eating experience of that, amazing. It's so much easier than like, you know, this and this and this and like, it's just finger strip dip strips of sub, sushi dip strip tea sandwich finger subs, dipping subs, fingers. What? We're still working on the name. Anyway, to the next one. You know what to do, eat good, blasphemize your Subway sandwich, and stay true.